I saw myself as the weakest person God ever created. But I never blamed God for anything he did to me. So I wanted to change that to be the hardest man ever created. Am I that? I don't know, but you had to have a goal. And my goal when I was sitting there, not going to school, being bullied, being, having no self-esteem, my goal was the only person that's gonna turn this person around is me. When I was growing up, I, I lied for people to accept me because I didn't accept myself. So I would make up stories so, so that you would accept me into your world. I would, uh, everything I did was for someone else to like me. It wasn't until I started reading my own book about how pathetic I was as a human being. I could blame my dad, I could blame kids at school, I could blame having health issues, ADD, my mom not being around. I could blame a lot of people. And that's the book I was reading. And I put it off on everybody else. It wasn't until I said, you know what, for me to fix this, I gotta read what the hell, what the fuck is wrong with David Goggins? Not, not blame anybody. And the feeling I had every morning when I looked in the mirror was horrible. And I didn't want to feel like that anymore. And how I felt was a, a kid going nowhere, a kid that was scared. And most kids will accept that and look for help. But the best thing that happened to me, no one helped me. No one felt sorry for me. No one looked at me and said, like this day and age, they'll, they'll take you in and they'll tell everybody, stop picking on this person. Back then, they didn't care. The only way I can turn around is put myself through the worst things possible a human being could ever endure. And that'd be the only way that I can build this brain to handle anything that comes in front of it through pain and suffering. So we read a bunch of books nowadays. As, as humans, we, we want to find out how to be someone else. What we don't do is we don't go inside is you have to look inside of yourself and see what you really want. What, what are you passionate about? We use these words and these little phrases of only the strong survive and all this other crap. They're all just fucking words. The only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer, to grow. And if you can for the rest of your life live inside of yourself, Stop listening to people who are calling you fat, gay, transsexual, nigger, everything that is makes no sense. All these insecure people putting their insecurities on you, you gotta flush it out. You gotta just be whoever the hell God or whoever the hell you believe in. You believe in nothing but yourself, I don't care what it is. You gotta take everything and throw it away. You have to believe in one thing and that is yourself. Right now, for you to find greatness in yourself, you're not gonna find it by looking in a book or by even hearing me. I may give you the spark, but you've got to go inside yourself to find it. Because at times of hell, even the hardest men, in times of suffering, what we do is we forget how hard we really are. Because that's what suffering is. Suffering is a test, it's all it is. What are you going to do now? They don't own your life. How are you going to control that now? How are you gonna flip it upside down and say, Roger that, now I'm gonna harness this shit and you'll read about me years from now? How? That's the question, how are you gonna do that?